everybody, welcome back to another video from Breezy Organization. I am on here today to show you some tips and tricks to use if you're using GoodNotes on an iPad Pro and Apple Pencil for your digital planning. So super, super fun things that you're gonna use and if you digital plan, you will probably use them often. up my week here it is april 5th through the 11th and i want to add a sticker so i have my sticker book open on this other tab in good notes so i'm going to click on it i need the april um word here so i'm going to click on this lasso tool and instead of circling all of april like this and clicking in the middle see how this grabbed july as well okay so we don't want to do that so we're going to click off we're going to make a little circle right in the middle of it and then we're going to tap and hit copy. So that's only going to grab April. So that way your stickers can be a lot closer together and you can only grab just that one by doing a tiny circle in the middle. Okay, so you're just going to tap and hit paste. And then I'm gonna bring it up here to the top. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller by hitting the um, blue handle thing. And then I'm going to write in, click on the pen and write in fifth through 11th. And I'm at a super awkward angle here, so bear with me. Okay, so say you wanna import a picture. You're gonna hit this mountain with the moon little picture icon, and it's gonna bring you up all of your recent pictures right here. But we want something that's in our albums that I've already got separate. So if you hit the picture icon again, it's gonna bring you up this blue box and all of your pictures. So I'm gonna scroll down until I hit YouTube. And then I have this new picture, actually it's a sticker that we have coming out in a few days on our shop on Etsy. And it's of a sloth with a transparent background. So I'm gonna hit this little handle tool down here and I'm gonna make him smaller. And then click him over to the middle and draw him or drag him over to Monday. Now remember, you may think after you've like put a picture down that, oh my goodness, I can't move him. What am I going to do? You can always use the lasso tool circle and go ahead and move him wherever you want. So it's not permanent. So don't worry about it. You write in here that we are eating out on this day and now this is not the case this time but say you absolutely loved how you wrote something you took your time and made it really pretty you could always lasso anything and just move it to a different thing so that's what's awesome about digital planning you can erase and you can move around as much as you want Another really cool thing that I actually just learned is you can double tap with two fingers and it'll erase the last thing that you did. So I just moved that, we're gonna double tap again and then now it starts taking away my letters that I wrote. So super easy if you don't wanna go up and hit the erase button or like as you're writing, sometimes I am in a hurry and I'm writing something really sloppy and I'm like, okay, I hate that. I've got to erase that. So every time you lift up your pen, it's just gonna um, erase the last thing that you did. So there's another little trick for you. Okay, so say you want to duplicate a page in GoodNotes. You're gonna go up here and click on the four little squares and if it depends on, sometimes it depends on which tab. So say I want more, um, okay, so say I want more weeks in April. Um, you could go to a clean page or say you've already got writing and you meant to duplicate a page but you've already got a sticker or something on there. You don't have to erase your stuff, just go up here to the four squares and then you'll see the page that I'm on is highlighted in blue. So go down till you see the blue one and I want another page right behind here. So I'm gonna click on this drop down arrow right underneath the, the one that I'm on, the one that's selected, and I'm gonna duplicate the page. So it's gonna put another one right after. And if you go back and look at it, we got one with a sloth and then we've got number two with a sloth with my writing up here. And you can go to just clear the whole page or you can um, go to the lasso tool and say you want the information on this page, all your habit stuff's already written in or whatever, and you just need to erase this stuff over here. So you could just circle, lasso around it, and then click and click or cut, and that will just erase that from there, and you have a duplicated clean sheet for you to work with. So super easy to duplicate pages within GoodNotes, no hassle. And we did it underneath the April tab, so everything is set up perfectly, and all of your links will be set up perfectly as well.
Okay, so another tool that you can use is if you hit the photo button, I'm gonna show you how to use the freehand tool. So say I have this tie here and I just grabbed a picture um, off the internet to show you, but say I don't want this rectangle. I should have grabbed a picture that had a little bit more curves and stuff, but say I want to edit this. You're going to tap on the blue handle and hit crop. And then instead of just bringing it in and doing a rectangle with a white square around it, I'm going to do a freehand. So this is going to take wherever you draw your Apple pencil. I'm going to do this really quick. So it's not going to be perfect. Um, but it will get rid of that background. It's only going to keep what you have inside of this green line and then you hit done and then you can see that my background is gone. So if like I'm on a notes page and I'm keeping a uh, list of inventory products that we're ordering for a boutique, I could put this on the blank page and write down all the information beside it. And I don't have all of those backgrounds, um, in the way. So that's a really fun tool to use on good notes as well. really cool tool you can use is say you are wanting some more check boxes on another page um, like on the notes page so let's go let's uncheck here and let's go to the notes so I have a blank notes page so let's go back to April and I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna hit our toolbar and I'm gonna do the crop tool and then I'm going to circle this little check box and I'm gonna hit take screenshot and then I'm going to hit this out arrow and I am going to hit copy. And then I am going to go back to where I can go to my tabs and hit notes. And then I'm going to zoom in here and hit my toolbar again and hit paste. Okay. And then this brought this up, this little box here and I can make this smaller and I can do a little checkbox. So say um, I got a little bit too much of the white. So I'm going to hit the arrow, hit crop, and then I'm going to do the freehand tool. And I'm not going to get super, super close because I don't want to go into the gold area, but just hit done. That'll be good enough. And it took it away where I can put it on that black line almost without it showing my line. So I'm going to put this here. Um, let's see. I need to make it a little bit smaller. Hit the tool again, hit resize. I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller and then I am going to copy paste and you say, Oh my goodness, this takes, um, way too long to do. Uh, that's just part of the fun of playing to me. I think that this is fun. <laughs> Uh, but another thing that you could do is just circle these after you get a few of them made and you could just paste them and your list would go a whole lot quicker. And then you could even circle those again and paste, but I would say this is about all of the checklist that I need. And then I'm just going to type in or write in, um, cleaning to do's. And then I can write in vacuum, really any list. I'm just writing something down that I do every week. <laughs> um, okay, so then if you're like me, you really like checking off lists. So then you have a nice little list made here. And whenever you do something, you can come in here and you can check it off. Super, super fun. Okay, so say you want to make this list every week, you could always copy it and paste it over here and you'd be all set up for the next week. So super, super fun. Um, let us know if you have any questions, leave us some comments, like, subscribe if you want to see more videos and um, we'll catch you on the next one.